Hey guys, what's going on? And Lord Almighty, I am the biggest idiot ever. So before we get to this game, let me go ahead and give a little bit more of a backstory. So I know if you guys have been following me and watching the past two Let's Plays, um, the two Stardew Valleys I've been doing, I've been on sort of a time constraint for quote unquote time constraint whenever I make these Let's Plays because I used to time myself down to 10 minutes because I would have to, I didn't have a, an internet source for the computer, so I would have to transfer them to my phone, which is a pretty shitty phone, and upload them from there to YouTube. So with the space, you know, it's just so hard for me to explain because I seem like such an idiot. But what happened was, was I was exporting them in Premiere, but I was exporting them completely wrong. Um, I didn't realize that the settings restarted itself uh, when I changed my computer over to the new house and the, the help of my good buddy Promith, he helped me with a YouTube setting that it would export to that was just absolutely perfect. And I guess the main word here is um, compress files. And the thing is, is the videos that I were uploading weren't compressed. Now I was looking around and somehow I didn't see it, somehow I didn't notice it, but I looked and saw that the it wasn't exporting in the custom YouTube exporting settings that I normally use. So to kind of cut all this jargon and to cut this intro short because the only reason I'm even kind of doing an intro is because I'm just so excited that I don't have this time constraint anymore. To kind of give you a brief example, Stardew Valley episode 1 which was 10 minutes long in an uncompressed file was 2 point something gigabytes. Now that was a shit ton that my phone barely was able to handle and not to mention it took eight hours straight of upload time to get that bitch up there now stardew valley episode 2 which was 15 minutes long but i exported it under the custom youtube settings was not only set perfect for youtube but 15 minutes was 600 megabytes which means at this point i could upload a fucking hour-long video which if i don't shut shut up and start playing this may end up being but I could upload an hour long video and it would still not reach as big as that 10 minute first episode. So I'm, I'm going to stop rambling now because I'm super excited for two reasons. One, I don't have this time constraint anymore. I can just start playing the game, which is a huge thing for me. And then number two is definitely going to be the, it's Persona, it's motherfucking Persona. If you guys don't know me, which I may not have given you guys a lot of insight, I am a huge fan of Personas. I absolutely love the games, especially Persona 4. That was the first Persona game that I played, that's what got me onto it. And so I was looking around for some free games on Game Jolt, and this one popped up, uh, which I believe it's fully completed. Um, it was made in RPG Maker Ace. And it is a parody of Persona 4, and I was looking through some of the screenshots, it looked absolutely fucking hilarious, so I figured what better way to start off being able to let the games control how long the video should be and let the flow control than playing an awesome Persona fucking game that's gonna make us all laugh. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop blabbering, and we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start a new game, because I haven't played this game before. And, oh god, I just fucking, I love Persona so much. <laughs> okay, easy is for players who are aware that they are bad at games and or want to play the game for the dialogue without focusing too much on the fights. Normal is for players who want a standard experience and impossible is literally impossible and you shouldn't play it. <laughs> now, as much as I want to test that theory... Um, I don't know how the fights are going to lay out compared to Persona 4, which I mean, I'm pretty good at because I, you know, once you get, once you get like the weaknesses and the strengths figured out, it's not too hard, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the basic normal just for progression of video. Oh my God, dude. I'm so excited. I'm just, oh, there's so many, so many happy things going on at once right now. And I do want to thank you all again. For, and this music is just great fits. I want to thank you all again for sticking with me through all of this and I also want to thank my good friend Promith. You can check his channel out, Promith Plays. He's been not only a huge inspiration to help me, you know, get to where I am now making videos, but he's also been a huge supporter, uh, not only of just, you know, my, my channel and my videos, but his as well. And we just, we have a really good community thing going. So I do want to thank him and like I said, I'm just going to stop blabbering. Let's go ahead and jump right in here. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What the ass is this? <laughs> okay, so we're, we're already going to start off to a great start. That is the protagonist. 
It's, it would seem you have a most unusual destiny lying ahead of you. One of vexedious jokes and obscure references. I don't understand one of those words in that sentence. Comment which, comment which one you guys think it is. I'll give you a hint. It's vexedious. Is this the set of some... S oh, fuck. Gave him the wrong voice. Is this the set of some snuff film? The Velvet Room? Sounds like some real deep web shit. Do not be alarmed. You are sound asleep in your world. This is a dream? Don't bullshit me, nosy bonk. There is not nearly enough rubbing alcohol to be one of <laughs> What the fuck does that even mean? Calm now, you've got quite the trick ahead of you, Chuckle. This is how I die. Some introductions. I'm Igor, and I am quite pleased to make your acquaintance. Yes, welcome. I am the mystical nose man's assistant. By the way, his nose is fucking huge. I know, like, if you guys have played Persona 4, uh, I'll go ahead and throw, like, a little clip up in the corner. Just so you guys can see how fucking long his nose is. It's, it's ridiculous, but this is going too far. <laughs> you may call me Margaret. You see, this room exists between mind and matter, dream and reality. I'm kind of taking a Twilight Zone thing with it now. Only those who have forged a contract may enter the room. So, how does all this junk apply to me? I like how they gave him shades. I, 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 I instantly like the protagonist's attitude and his shades. That's already two fucking, that's two hits right there. Oh, it doesn't. You see... Your old school had a problem with gas leaks. Pretty much all of the students have been inhaling propane for six hours a day for about four months. This room is merely a hallucination brought upon by your most likely fatally poisoned mind. Okay. Poison. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're kicking it off straight up. Dad, Mr. Useless woke up. I assuming that's me? Jeez, you had me worried. Do you normally stop breathing while you're asleep? <laughs> it's a quirk. Okay, so everybody's in here. Um, I kind of wonder how much they're gonna stick with the Persona 4 story or how much we're gonna, they're just gonna completely fuck it over. Hold on, I'm gonna pull in for some gas. By the way, bear with me, I'm still working on voices. That's something new. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's really weird for me to do voices. But I do wanna do them because it's like just nice practice to stretch your vocal cords out and plus it kind of adds a nice flavor to the game so you're gonna be all right nanako yes dad i've known how to pee properly since i was six just checking actually a line from the game <laughs> just the regular please oh yeah something you should know the only gas station in this town is run by a satanic cult they shouldn't give you too much trouble just try not to piss them off okay okay I'm gonna go ahead and probably put a disclaimer before I start playing, but if you guys haven't played Persona 4 yet, this is going to spoil a lot of it for you. I, I can only assume, because it's already spoiling the fucking, the end of the game, pretty much, one of the endings, as well as just like the, the, the outward humongity of the characters. So, spoiler warning now, putting it, and I'm gonna put it before this scene too, don't watch this unless you've played the game. So, have you heard all the good news about Dark Lord Satan? Nope, I'm not particularly interested in religion, though I've just been sticking with Shin Shintoism because of my parents and stuff. I was thinking about converting the Church of the Subgenius or something, though. Oh, well, that's too bad. <sighs> so you're moving in from the big city, eh? kid like you will probably be bored to death unless you have job or satanic rituals to aid in okay so they're really kind of pushing this which kind of cracks me up though because like it's it's so hard to explain because like i don't know like every shin megami shin megami tensai game has some sort of i mean some sort of connection to either demonology or something of that sort so it's 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 kind of interesting but the way that they do it is always unique and it just kind of that's that's the one thing that cracks me up is that like you know if you look at it on a base level yeah this right here is almost pretty much what a lot of the shin megami tensai games are about but like just the way that they do it and the way they, the way that they approach it and a lot of times the way they personify hate to use the word but the way that they personify or 
you know, give give personalities to the enemies and give personalities to the demons and stuff. It's just really interesting. Oh, fair enough. All I'm saying is that you should give submitting your eternal sword to the Lord Satan some thought. So this guy's kind of weird straight off the bat. This gas station attendant holds out her hand, awaiting for you to shake it. Oh boy, I've always wanted to shake someone as sexually ambiguous as you say. <laughs> okay, the fucking shades are fucking cracking me up so bad. Okay, isn't this an awkwardly prolonged and still handshake? It's a pictured cut. <laughs> oh no. Oh, you feeling all right? You're not looking all right. Turn around, bright eyes. No? <laughs> Turn around. Okay, sorry for that little bump there. The mic kind of took a little fall. We're good, though. Turn around, bright eyes. Is this a joke or an obscure reference, perhaps, to a song? Why couldn't the nose man be more specific? Oh, shit. Uh... Boss, it happened again. What what happened again? Should I call the doctor or the optometrist? Oh, his fucking eyes. <laughs> oh, hermaphrodites sure seem to live interesting lives. Oh, hey, the car's done. Dojima's house. This will be your location of dwelling for the next year. Wow, this house is shit. Can I finally move around now? Hey, it's just like the it's just like Persona 4. It's li like a 2-hour sequence before you start playing the fucking game. Okay, it's not that bad. It's a lot of cutscene and you do get to move around and stuff, but you don't get everything unlocked for the game until about 2 hours into the fucking game. It's worth it though. Completely worth it. This was supposed to be a welcoming oh, <clears throat> this was supposed to be a welcoming party. But I have no idea how to cook, so here's some dry ramen noodles. Enjoy. I actually like to eat dry ramen noodles. I know it's not supposed to be a dried snack. I know it's supposed to be more of a soup, but I don't know. It's 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 like especially if you put like a little bit of the powder on it. I know that sounds weird now that I'm saying it. If you put a little bit of powder on there, it's kinda like a dried chip almost. I I don't know. I don't know. Gee, thanks, Dojima. I've always wanted a family who loved me. Useless Dojima. Has a nice ring to it. Anyway. How about I tell everybody the story? The story of how I was demoted from being a sergeant. Okay, so the story starts with this big... Wait, how old are you kids again? Six? Seventeen? I'll tell you the story some other time. <laughs> I kind of want to know the story now. Must have had more to drink than I thought. Let's just eat. I kind of want to know what that story was. Ugh, of course. Dojima here. Again? Well, how much? Damn, that's a lot of white stuff. <laughs> what kind of sicko does that kind of stuff? White stuff addicts. It's a hard life. It's a hard knock life. Okay. I probably won't be home until tomorrow, so don't wait up. Okay. Man, he sure is a tool. Yeah, he's a real dong like that sometimes. <laughs> dong? <laughs> but he's gotta go to work to stop all the bad people from hurting us or filling our bathtubs with cat food. <laughs> bathtubs full of cat food? The town had a problem with it a year ago. <laughs> What? Wait, that was this town? Uh, I wonder who could have done such a mysterious crime. <laughs> okay, there's implications that I may have done it. Look, I don't care what evidence you found. It wasn't me, goddammit. Anyone could have put that cat food there. <laughs> what the fuck is this game going? I mean, what an odd crime. So does your dad always leave you home like this? Yeah, he has to work almost every night. 
Okay, so this is weird because they're intersplicing like some actual dialogue from the game, like when it's appropriate, mixed with just some made up like funny bullshit dialogue. I didn't mean bullshit, it was it's actually funny. You watched TV and ate shitty dry noodles with Nanako until it was time for bed and then went to your bedroom for the year. For th the whole year? Ooh, cutting. Come again. Did I fall asleep while writing fan fiction again? <laughs> gotta keep gotta keep that creativity sharp, man. Holy shit, this cutscene's taking forever. What's going on? Can I move? Oh shit, I can walk. Okay. Duh. Stupid me. Okay. Yeah, we can actually walk now. Cool. We're gonna get a battle? Do you wish to know the truth? I'll pass. <laughs> cool. I wonder how sassy I'm gonna be towards the chicks. If it's the truth you desire, come find me. Hey, uh, I never should have signed up for this. Can I go? You're still following me, searching and pursuing. Jeez, you sound just like Kaya. And Mao. And Natsuko. Man, I sure follow a lot of girls. <laughs> it's like every time it like sets you up for like a punchline and then it just hits you with it. We can carry on despite the fog. It's an interesting quality you possess. You can't see shit. Yeah, interesting is one way of putting it. I like this guy. I like this protagonist. But you cannot catch me so easily. God damn it. Can I just shit myself with a, with a few former school friends without interruption from? <laughs> okay, so apparently he's writing fan fiction about himself. Everyone sees what they want to, but the fog only deepens. If it's the truth you seek, then it will only become harder. Don't get metaphorical with me, voice man. I'm a simple man. Don't confuse me with your fancy language. <laughs> Date, 4-13. April 13. Today is your first day at your new school for the next year. All right. All right, you shitty piece of shit shit. Shit your shitty shit asses down and stop shitting around with all your shit talk and look at this little shit. <laughs> this shit pile of shit moved from the shit city. Pfft, city? More like shitty. Now introduce your shit self, you little shit. Sup, losers? I'm useless Narukami, but you can call me Doc. Why, you ask? Simple. When you're feeling sick, babe, I know the trick. It's sex and it's sex. <laughs> what the shitting shit are you doing? Hey, uh, I'm not really a doctor, at least. Not yet. I plan to. Admit it, you were just oogling that girl in the corner. I can tell you were just three seconds away from pulling down your pants and jacking off right here. Pfft. Of course I wasn't gonna do that. What idiot would make that mistake twice? <laughs> shit little shits like you go on my shit list of shits. I don't know what shit you can- Oh, damn it. Some of this text- See, I'm not even hitting the button. Some of the text just runs by too fast. Sir. Is there- There's an empty seat next to me. Can you sit there? It's Chie. Fine. Chie is my waifu, by the way. So you guys better back the fuck off. Take your shitty seat, you little shit shitter. Fine. Okay. Um. How many shits was that, by the way? Throw that number up there. We call him King Moron. He's an ass, so to speak. <clears throat> Gee, I'm glad someone around here understands my love of 90s songs about penetrative sex. <laughs> yeah, you ever hear Shut Up and Sleep With Me? What 90s fuck fan hasn't? Shut your shitty shit mouse up, class is starting. 
okay, so interesting day. Um, meeting Chie. I'm gonna get a little after school special. Dot, dot, dot. And then he reached into an iron chest and he picked the tool that he felt was best. <laughs> and then he jabbed me in the schlong <laughs> with a pitchfork that had sharpened parts. <laughs> I'm sorry, that, sh that should not have made me laugh as much as it did. <laughs> That's the story of my first day. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, this game makes me laugh way harder at shit I shouldn't be laughing at. At shitty shit I shouldn't be laughing at. Shit, shit. Attention all students, an incident has occurred on campus. Please remain calm and evacuate immediately. I wonder what could have happened. Maybe some sharks got in the pipes again. That's a thing? Uh, Chie. Uh, Chie, I think you gave me the wrong movie. What do you mean? Well, uh, is Trial of the Dragon meant to have a scene where a girl who looks suspiciously like you seductively eats Pringles? Uh, well. That movie sounds pretty cool, actually. How dare you accuse me of such false rumors? Okay? Don't waste your pity on him, Yukiko. He's only good at making false rumors that are false and homosexual. <laughs> Do you hear that, everyone? Yusuke is both false and homosexual. I do not have any sort of fetish for certain brands of potato chips. The very thought of that is false and homosexual. Okay. Uh, that's a good defense, by the way. Go ahead and throw that out there if you ever get yourself backed in, in, into an intellectual corner. Just throw false and homosexual out there. Wait, so you're studying here for a whole year? Just because your overprotective mother got scared after you got in a fight with a couple of mischievous guys in your neighborhood? Yeah, let's just stick with that for now. Man, that must be rough. Alright, Bel Air reference. I can dig it. Where are you staying? I'm staying with my aunt and uncle, of course. Though my aunt's dead. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's no biggie. We only have one legal guardian and they work a lot, which means you get a lot of free time to play with fires and stuff. He just never needs to take his shades off. Every fucking piece of dialogue that comes out of his mouth is fucking golden. Uh, anyways. This town really doesn't have a lot. And by that I mean it's shit. But it kind of sucks in a good way if that makes much sense. Though one of the few things worth nothing in this town is the Amagi Inn run by Yukiko's family. Uh, it's... N I need to give her a different chick voice. Why do I only have one girl voice? Um, it's nothing special really. Okay, I'll give her something like more kind of quiet and embarrassed. It's just an old inn that happens to have a higher amount of S. I would prefer not to meet stories than any other inn in all of Dub Japan. Why? We're just bad at choosing employees. Heh. <laughs> so tell me, useless, do you think Yukiko is cute? Okay, is she hot or not? I don't know, I mean, duh, Yukiko's hot, but like, <sighs> she's hot too. Like, I hate fucking choices. Can I just do the both of them? The game, the original game gave me the both choice. Um, yeah, she's pretty hot. Yeah, if given the chance, I'd tap that in a second. Uh, you're up front. I didn't really expect an answer like that. Your seductiveness increased for some reason. Throughout the game, you'll be able to engage in certain tasks that'll raise your social stats. Okay, this is really fucking cool. Like, I mean, if you peel back, like, some of the... I wouldn't say cheesy, I just think it's fucking hilarious. But some of the dialogue and some of, like, the humor and actually look at it, it's a really good transition. I mean, as far as I can tell right now, it's a great transition, like, to RPG Maker, which really doesn't give you a lot to work with, honestly. These stats are used to perform certain tasks and allow you to choose certain dialogue options. Charisma is used to start certain social links, as well as say certain dialogue options in social links. Increasing seductiveness will make it so most ladies will want to get a piece of your sexy body. Sorry, I had the burps there. And intelligence is used to calculate the results of your school exams. You can check these stats by pressing Q at any time. Like right now? It's not working. See, Yuki's a really popular girl. She has a lot of boys who would do anything to get a date with her. Even though it's me, all the boys should want to be erotically licking Pringle flavoring. 
<laughs> she is even manipulates boys into doing things for her sometimes by flirting with them. Like one time she told a guy she would go out with them if they get... Okay, oh, damn it. Come on, this dialogue, dude. It's so good, but like there's... It, it seems like one out of every ten dialogue boxes just auto auto zoom themselves. It's not true that I'm popular or that any boys have committed sacrificial rituals to go on a date with me. I never said anything about sacrificial rituals. Oh, uh, well there was this one boy in my year five classroom who liked me and also thought he was some super dark devil worshiper. He just sort of drew a star on the ground with chalk during break time and converted his pet guinea pig into ketchup and begged to go on a date with him with me to the devil. Through the pentagram did end up creating some interesting games of hopscotch. Okay. Interesting to know. Holy shit. I mean, I know I don't run on a limit, but I don't want this to be like a 50 minute episode. Can I get to a fucking save point? Hey, what's all this? Housewife. Apparently a high schooler who went home early found the body. Other housewife. Oh, oh <laughs> that's just the person. Who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? Damn, a police block. Jesus Christ, who got murdered? Local reporter lady, now go home and stop questioning police investigations. Oh my god. Gee, these police here sure are direct. Someone was m m m murdered Hey, what are you doing around here? Uh, just passing through with my two attractive wives. <laughs> Useless, shut up. Play along. I think he's buying it. Wives, yeah, sure. You kids really shouldn't be hanging around here. We were just on our way home from school. Ugh. We told that damn principal to not let any kids through here. Wait, Useless, you know this guy? Yeah, he's my new dad. No, I'm not. I'm Detective Dojima, his uncle. I am his legal guardian while he's in Inaba. I just hope you uh, get along well with Useless. He's kind of off. Now you kids should head on home. Now's not the time to be wandering around. Interesting. Interesting. Y Yuki? I think we should go to Junez some other time. Yes, I think so too. Uh, see you tomorrow, I guess, Useless. Yeah, I get the message. You don't want to hang out around Useless because his dad's a cop. Actually, it's more the fact somebody was murdered. Yeah, you don't have to lie to me. Do you really not care that somebody died? Well, not really. Stuff like that just happens, you know? It's not like it matters all that much. Besides, people normally have a reason to kill. She maybe deserved it. Um. Um. Gee, why'd you have to attract the biggest and creepiest person around? Because we had similar music tastes. I didn't know you'd be like this. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm not as suave with the ladies as I am in the original game. Dojima Residence. Afternoon. I'm fucking loving this game, by that way. 10 out of 10. Tonight's top story is concerning a bizarre case in a small suburb. Oh boy, turn it up. I'm in this one. Earlier today, a woman was found dead today along the Annaba Riverbed, hanging from a large TV antenna. Local authorities are unsure why the body was in such a state. Okay, pause there. Look in the background there. Is it not the one and only me? Actually, I think it's just another person with gray hair. You're a dream crusher, Nanako. The deceased has been identified as Mayume Yamanana. Nomina. Nomina. A 27-year-old announcer at a local television station. After examinations, authorities have been unable to determine a cause of death. Police are yet to rule whether this death was an accident or a homicide. And if you ask this reporter, that is complete shit ass. I mean, how the hell would she accidentally end up like that? I mean... Thick fog common to the area has slowed progress and plans to fully canvas the area delayed until tomorrow. Great. The report on the story ends and the program cuts to commercials. They found the body on a roof. That's scary. <laughs> Don't worry. My... Your dad is an ace detective. <laughs> he keeps on the call of his dad. <laughs> He'll find the culprit in no time. That's like funny in a sad way. Unless, of course, the culprit had, like, gloves or something to cover up his fingerprints. Could take a while longer then, give him enough time to kill again. Or maybe he has some kind of future gun that could kill people without leaving any way to determine the cause of death. 
Maybe the corpse was left as a signal that he's going to perform several more murders after this. And now the person is going door to door and killing anyone he slash she feels like. You realize watching Nanako is watching an ad on TV and not listening to your rambling. Yo, shit's great at Juness. <laughs> Nanako is looking at you expectedly. Oh shit, what did she say? Uh, Do you like singing? You're good at singing. What is a Juness? Wait, why is there a six-year-old girl cursing at me? <laughs> Uh, you're good at singing. Sure, wow, whatever, you're good. Yeah, I'm the best in my class. Nanako seems to have forgotten all about the story and is humming the tune merrily to herself. <laughs> Smooth move, useless. <laughs> okay, can I get some- Yes, I can finally walk around. You can save your game by interacting with a bottle of fine French wine. <laughs> you can perform one of multiple activities in the Dojima residence or pass on to the next day. Okay. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Uh, we'll call this an episode. I think we got a good meaty amount. We got a lot of the basic story out of the way, so now we can jump into some battle and talking chicks up and just having a really good time. I am gonna say, dude, I love this fucking game. I mean, it plays on all the things like that. It just it plays on all my heartstrings for Persona 4. It's got the humor that I love. It's got perfect joke timing, in my opinion. It's got it. It, it sticks relatively close to you know the 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 base game which is really interesting to me how they can keep like a joke parody game and yet keep it so like in tune with it like i really feel like i'm playing an rpg maker version of the game that just got fucked up so i'm gonna go ahead and save here in file one whoops did i do that yep okay i saved the game and I'm going to go ahead and call it here. And like I said, thank you guys so much again for watching this. I am absolutely happy I can do longer episodes now. And just let the the flow of the game, you know, take control of the episode instead of having to rush through and do like, a, oh, I need to be in 10 minutes or less because that was that's bullshit. So I'm going to leave it here. We're going to pick back up and uh, explore some more of the Dojimi residence and then go to sleep and uh, do tomorrow. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to toss a like. Toss a comment. Let me know if you guys know some other games you'd like me to play. Something that seems fun, cool. I mean, even games like this. Like, I love the RPG Maker kind of games. I mean, they can be really deep without you even realizing. But I'm going to stop rambling. If you love me, toss a subscribe. Helps me out. Make, you know. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have a good day.